Hey everyone, Tom here from Made by Loop with another very simple After Effects tip video. In this video, I'm going to run through how to draw and animate lines in After Effects. I'll also run through an extra technique at the end of the tutorial, which is useful if you need to have an animated arrowhead or something else that follows the line as it draws on screen. So let's get started. In my After Effects composition, you can see that I've got no layers just yet. I've just got a blank composition. So what I'm going to do is come up here to the pen tool. Now, sometimes I get comments and messages saying, my screen doesn't look like yours. It's different, the tool isn't there, uh, that's missing. So if this toolbar isn't visible for you, then make sure it's enabled by going to Window and make sure that the Tools option here has the little tick next to it. Okay, so this is the pen tool. And it's worth noting at this point that if you look in the bottom right hand corner of this icon, you can see that it has a little triangle. Now what this means is that you can click and hold down your mouse button and it'll bring up this little sub-menu with all sorts of different pen tool functions. So if you see the toolbar but you don't see the pen option, it could be because one of these other options is selected instead. For now though, we'll select the pen tool at the top and you should see that your cursor changes to the little pen icon. So with this pen cursor, we can now go ahead and click anywhere in the composition window to create the first point of our line, like so. And you can see in the timeline window that After Effects has now created a new shape layer. And this is where our line is going to live. So with the pen tool still active, I'm going to create another point over here, like so. And there we have it. That's how to draw a line in After Effects. Tutorial over. Done. I could stop the tutorial there, but let's, let's carry on for a little bit. First of all, here's a couple of handy tips when drawing a line in After Effects. So right now I just have the second point over here in a random position. But what if you want a perfectly straight line? Well, if I delete the last point that I made, what I can do with the pen tool still selected is hold down the shift key and then click over here in the comp window. And you can see that by holding shift, we've now got a line that goes exactly at 90 degrees. Now, holding shift actually doesn't keep it to 90 degrees, it keeps the line to 45 degree increments. What this means is that if I keep holding down shift and then click in a diagonal direction, it still creates a straight line, but this time it's at 45 degrees from where we were. So just to illustrate, if I click around here, still holding the shift button, I'll create lines that are straight, but at 45 degree increments, depending on where I click in relation to the last point. It sounds complex, but basically, if you want to keep it a straight line, make sure you're holding the shift button. So that's how to keep your line straight. But what if you want to add a curve? Well, I'll just delete all these points again and illustrate this really quickly. So to add a curve, when you click to add a new point, hold the mouse button down and drag away from the point where you've just clicked. And you'll see you'll get this little seesaw looking control here that lets you create a nice looking curve. And again, if you hold shift while you're doing this, it will snap it to 45 degree increments, which is pretty useful if you're trying to create a more uniform looking curve. Now, if I just go back and create these straight lines again, if you want to add a curve at this point, what you can do is come up here to the pen tool again and click and hold to bring up the little menu and select the convert vertex tool. With this selected, you can then click and drag on any point of your line to create the curve retrospectively. And once you've created your curve, you can also then click and drag these controller points too and change the curve to suit whatever your design needs. So speaking of the design, your line may look slightly different to mine. And that's because my line is just taking the previous shape layer properties that I've used in a different project. So to change the style of the line, you can come up here to the stroke settings and change the thickness. Or if we click the color here, we can change the color of it too. If you want to go further, there are more settings to change down here in the actual shape layer itself. So we could create a dash line, for example, we could add a taper, and there's all sorts you can do here to make your line look a little bit more interesting. For now though, I'm just going to undo all these changes, and now we're going to look at how to animate this line 
and have it draw on screen. So to add the animation, what we need to do is come here to this little add button with the arrow. And if we click the arrow, we can see that there's a big list of things that you can add to every shape layer. The one we're interested in today is this one, trim paths. So I'm gonna click that. So what that's done is add this trim paths one section on the shape layer here. At this point, I'm just going to rename this layer because it's good practice to do so. So I'll select the layer and I'll hit return and I'll type animated line. And I'm going to click the trim paths one section hit return and rename this to line animation. You could keep it as is, but it's like I say, it's always good practice to rename your shape layers. Okay, so we have these three options within our line animation. We've got start, end and offset. Right now, the end value is set to 100%. And if I just click and drag this value down, you can see that the end of the line moves closer to the first point. If I move it back up to 100%, it goes to the end. So this end value is like the progress of the line. At 0%, it hasn't moved. And then as the value increases to 100%, it draws the line on screen. So to animate this line drawing on screen, what I'll do is I'll make sure that the timeline marker is set to zero, and I'll click this little keyframe button on the end value, and I'll set that value to zero. I'll then move the time marker over two seconds and I'll change the end value to 100%. And that's added in another keyframe there. If I hit preview, you can now see that we have a very simple line animation going from zero to 100%. And if I select these keyframes and hit function F9, we can add a bit of easing on there to make it a bit nicer. Perhaps I'll come into the graph editor and change things so that we get a little bit of ease into it get a bit of speed going and then tail off. And there we go. So that just makes the line drawing on a bit nicer. So at this point, we've got our line on screen and it's animating quite nicely. I could end the tutorial there, but like I said at the start, there is another trick in After Effects that really helps when it comes to animating lines. And it'll really help you, especially if you need to add an arrowhead to the end of the line as well. So just to prepare, what I'm going to do is just delete these keyframes for the trim paths animation. And then what I'll do is I'll come up here to window and right at the bottom, I'll click create nulls from paths.jsx. Now this is an After Effects script and it's included within every version of After Effects. They added it a few versions ago. So if you don't see this, then you'll need to update your version of After Effects. I'm not going to go through all of the features of this script. I do use this script in another tutorial called Stop Using the Beam Effect, which you can check out and I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. But for now, I'm going to focus on this button here, the trace path option. So to use the script, first of all, you have to come down to your shape layer and click all the way down until you get to the path option, not path one, but this specific path option here, the one with the keyframe icon. And this trips a lot of people up. So make sure it's this one that's selected. So when you've selected it, you can then hit the trace path button. And right away, you'll see that what this has done is create a new null object in our composition called trace line animation, and then path one and some little extra numbers. Now, if I just quickly scrub through the timeline, what you'll see is that the null object perfectly follows the line along and then it will repeat and go back to the start. Now, the reason it comes back to the start is because if I come in here to the effects and trace path option, you can see that loop is set to on, but I'm just going to change that to off by clicking it. So now when I move the timeline marker, you can see that the null object gets to the end and then stops. And this is being controlled by this value here, the progress value which has two keyframes automatically added. So what we can do now is come back into our shape layer and into the line animation trim paths option that we added before. But instead of adding two keyframes to the end value like we did before, I'm going to click and drag this pick whip and connect it to the null objects progress value. So now if I scrub through the timeline, you can see that the line is drawing on screen just as before but we now have a null object that follows it perfectly. 
And what's great about this is that if we change the line at all, so if I come in here and change this point, maybe move it around, the null object is still set up to follow the line perfectly, thanks to the various expressions that come with it. To quickly demonstrate why this is so useful, having this null object, I'm going to add a new circle layer to this comp. I'm going to deselect everything, then come up here to the shape tool, and I'm going to hold shift and then double click the ellipse option to create a nice circle shape. I'll rename this layer circle and I'm going to quickly shrink it down. There we go. And now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is move the layer so that it roughly matches the null object's position. And finally, I'll parent this circle layer to the null object like so. So now what this means is if I go through the timeline, you can see that the circle perfectly follows the shape of the line and it draws on nicely behind it. Now you could replace this circle with an arrowhead or a graphic or a pencil or whatever you want to have at the end of the line. So if you did have a pencil, it could look as though the pencil itself is drawing the line behind it. Whatever you want to put there now, you can just pair it to this null object and it'll follow the line being drawn perfectly. It might rotate a bit and you might need to play around with some of the rotation settings, but have an experiment because it's really useful. And again, you can change the line however you like and the null object and the circle will follow it perfectly. So there we go. That's how to draw and animate a line in After Effects. Do remember to hit like and subscribe and make sure you visit madebyloop.co.uk for more motion design resources.